Ordos is this weekend playing host to the Audi R8 LMS Cup, a 10-round one-make series for full GT3 spec Audi R8 LMS models. The series attracts a wide variety of competitors from some of the region's top professional drivers to well-heeled gentlemen racers. It's a huge investment for Audi, who have brought journalists and TV crews from all over the Asia-Pacific area, including us, here to ward us to see the series firsthand. Why? What's Audi trying to achieve with the series? We kind of like pioneered the premium segment here. And uh, what we want to do, we see quite a lot of potential also in the motorsport industry, so to pioneer actually also and f have, have a leading role in the motorsport industry. Um, you see also uh, in the segments actually um, the RI8 cell uh, was uh, very good uh, from 2010 and 2011 and we see quite a uh, potential in the sporty segment. Uh, so we launched this year uh, therefore the RS5 and we see also uh, the S6, S7, S8 launch which is happening also this year. So there's quite a customer demand on sporty vehicles. So this is the first year of the uh, event. What are you hoping for in the long run? Uh, hoping for uh, more rounds to spread uh, right throughout Asia or are you perhaps looking even beyond Asia? Ah, we are here, uh, I think the first year we focused uh, at China. Um, it's an international series, international uh, registered. So uh, we will see what's happening uh, uh, next year. Uh, the feedback so far was really fantastic. Uh, we got uh, very good feedback from uh, the drivers, also from, from the teams. Uh, so we will see what will happen in the future. Um, we're looking in fixing the calendar for next year, um, probably in October, uh, November. And then we will see actually where we will race uh, next year. But uh, uh, I'm sure that we will expand somehow. You've spent a lot of money bringing journalists from all over Asia, including far-flung places like Australia. Why? Because it's something, I think, uh, which is interest uh, to every market, uh, which is in, in Asia. Uh, even we have uh, a lot of uh, journalists also from uh, other Asian markets like uh, Korea, Japan, uh, Hong Kong. And uh, there seems to be in the market now a lot of interest for one-make series like we are doing here with the Audi R8 LMS Cup. So do you see any future involvement for Australia? I mean, it's, a, it's been a major talking point in Australian motorsport is where we fit in sort of in the, in the regional area um, as part of Asia. Has been talk over the years of some Asian series coming down, especially doing the West Coast for Perth. Do you see the one day where we might even see a round of this series uh, in Australia somewhere? Who knows, the future will, will show what we are uh, doing. Um, what I think um, Audi is establishing here also in China, um, the customer racing as one, one of the part, which we call Audi Sport Customer Racing China. And uh, we had, uh, yes, uh, well, last year actually we were in uh, Zhuhai racing with the ILMC together. So uh, I think uh, maybe this concept uh, we will look also into and maybe race in some uh, other races in Asia, maybe even in, in Australia with just one single car. So for the next year, uh, would you like to see some Australian drivers perhaps take, take part? And um, if they do, how do they get involved? That would be fantastic to have uh, even Australian drivers here uh, coming to us. We have, uh, it's quite easy actually. Um, we had already some contact uh, to some of the Australian drivers um, and uh, it's very easy. Um, they can contact us directly here. There's a website. Uh, which we are uh, uh, built up, so uh, no problem, they can contact us directly and then uh, we would be very, very happy to work with them together, actually. The main competitors in the R8 LMS Cup are top Asian drivers like ex-Formula One driver Malaysia's Alex Jung and Hong Kong star Marchi Lee. Lee's well known to many in Australia from his time in local Formula 3 racing and I asked him his impressions of the unique Ordos circuit. Yeah, this is my first time to Autos and um, it's a very nice circuit, I can say, because that they have uh, up and down the hill quite a lot and uh, it's the first part of the circuit is a bit slower park that, you know, we have the mostly second gear corner and third gear, quite tricky corner. And once you reach to the second half of the circuit, it's up here and down here and it's quite fast corner, like fourth gear, third gear corner, like quite quick. And then we have uphill again down to the uh, the main straight, so coming back to the main straight. So I think it's it's it's, it's different, and um, the the weather is, is funny because uh, we are in more high uh, place, so the the temperature and the um, the air is different, 
Um, this is very tricky as well because you know that once the oxygen is not in the air, so the engine may, may be cost a bit slower. But in the Audi RS MS Cup, uh, the the car we didn't fail anything, and we managed to do a very good lap time here. You've raced so many things over the years. We even saw you briefly in Australian Formula Three for a short short stint a long time ago. Tell us about the uh, the Audi LMS Cup. What's the uh, what's the attraction of it, and uh, how do you think it will go and spread over the next few years? Uh, I mean, I'm a big fan. Uh, is the Phillip Islands, you know, big fans of that circuit because I really love that circuit. I got the proposition in Formula Three in that year. And uh, I missed that circuit. Um, you wouldn't have missed it two weeks ago, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. But, you know, I mean, uh, for this Audi um, RMS Cup Series R8, it's very nice because the high level of racing. Uh, we see Alex Young, the ex Formula driver, Adelie, the new coming single seater, is in he racing British Formula 3, Auto GP, a lot of racing. Uh, Charlie, he racing a lot of um, Formula um, BMW, Formula 3 champion also. So we have a lot of um, you know excellent driver. And Pekka was also a Formula P from five uh, racing. So we getting the standard very high. And like we say, you know, the Audi is doing a very fantastic job. The hospitality, the press conference, very professional. The car is extremely good to drive. And uh, we are very well prepared racing. So we have not so much things that we have to worry when we are focusing to doing this kind of uh, motorsport. So, Richard, I really have to thank you for Audi that have signed me as a driver. Then, Richard, I'm still learning every day. So, it's, it's all good for me this year. With Audi signing you, I, have, is there any talk about doing some uh, some other races with them outside of the series, some GT3 races, things like Nürburgring and perhaps even the Bathurst 12 hour? Yes, this year um, I'm racing the um, Cup race, uh, Audi RS uh, uh, Cup. Uh, and also I will do the GT3 Asia. I already do three ranks. So the, it's also very tough um, competitive there because we have another uh, different brand that we have to, we have to um, you know, competitive with. And um, me and Jeffrey Lee, we share one car in GT3 Asia. So uh, Jeffrey Lee is a Poem, so which is a very good driver. So we have to work each other out on most of the circuit and set up and you know we have to have a driver change and of course you know I think um, in the future we will do more race and uh, we have plan but um, it's not really confirmed yet so we have plan yes. You've been around as I said you've been around and had a look at the the local scene where do you put motorsport as a whole in Asia at the moment how is the sport developing over here? Yes, for me, I have been in racing in Asia, Europe, you know, and a bit in Australia. So I think, you know, it's very different now. Um, from five years when I was still in Formula Car, um, the motorsport is not really going that quick. But you can see this year we have a lot of uh, one mix series. We are have most one mix series in the world now in China. So basically, I think the motorsport in China is, is, is really going really quick. It's like a bombing. And I think in the future, these five years are very important um, years for, for a driver or for, for, for a manufacturer, for, for people who like motorsport. We, we have a lot of different kind of race uh, coming to China. And I think that's good. The people start to be looking more closely to motorsport. They want to know why. They want to know why you do this, why the car is so quick, what you guys do in the circuit and how to be competitive. Then they get more interesting. Yeah. So I think in the future, this five years will be a very important time for China motorsport. The interesting thing is we look at the, the venue here and the huge grandstands, the same with places like Zhuhai, and at the moment they're empty. Do you think that there will ever come a time when these grandstands will actually be packed with people and local people? Yeah, I think, you know, we have a very good crowd in Zhuhai now. So every single race that almost full. Um, in Shanghai, it's, it's hard to say because Shanghai is a very big circuit. So if even they have a lot of people, you still look... Um, it's not much, but here is it's totally different things because this other circuit is very new. The people is also very new to motorsport, so it takes times, yeah. And I think Audi doing a very good job to come here to promote it and to show how good is the Audi. So I think once the people get interesting, they will come to see the race. Okay, well you said you like Phillip Island. Uh, what about Bathurst with the Bathurst 12 hour camera? Would you like to get the uh, race at Mount Panorama and any thoughts of you in your career of perhaps jumping into a V8 supercar at some stage? Like I say, you know, like uh, breakfast, of course, you know, this is one of the races that I have put in my 
my notes that I have to do it. And of course, his, his Philip Allen is very nice. And of course, in the future, I will hopefully that I can race more in Australia, like uh, Bathurst, even VX Supercar. Why not? You know, because it's it's one of my favorite racing, honestly. Well, we'd love to see you back down there. Uh, we've got an open invitation anytime. You come down to Phillip Island, you can stay with us. It'll cost you nothing. Marty Lee, thanks for joining us in Pit Lane. Thanks. I will, I will come to see you. No, thanks, mate.